So this is probably going to be a fun one, a limited edition arcade machine, which is handmade by a company or a guy? A guy named Love Holton. It's like $2,700 and there's 50 in existence. So this should be interesting. Let's put it that way. Hopefully we'll play a couple of games here. Certificate of authenticity with the pen mark. Love Halton does hereby affirm the authenticity of this statement. This is number 43 out of 50 completed in 2018. Arcade R W1 edition. Don't you feel special already, man? Holy. The inlay on top is genuine mother of pearl. The joystick and buttons are custom made from solid brass. 8,000 milliamp hour battery, which is capable of three hours of playtime on the run. On the run, I'm not sure what you're running from. And a game library of 32 gigabytes, up to 10,000 emulated games. Sweet. Ooh, look at the Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man. That's Miss Pac-Man, right, with the bow? Wow. That's wood. <laughs> oh, you start by unscrewing this piece and then that guy flips open. Whoa. <laughs> Strong retro vibes happening here. Inside of there is an LCD, but then you've got this overlay, which gives you the appearance of like a retro television set. And then this piece, it just screws into this location over here. Okay, let's go through the systems real quick. Nine games on Atari 2600. Game Boy, MAME, nine games available. Master System, that's a throwback, three games available. Mega Drive, Neo Geo, Nintendo, 35 games available. Retro Pie. So obviously the guts of this thing are Raspberry Pi and it's got the emulator loaded on top of that. Super Nintendo 19 games, and then we're back to Atari. Who's excited? All right, let's, uh, where can I play here, Jack, that you can get a good view? Let us play. It's got the vibe of like a, a high-end watch might come in a case like this, or some really fancy cognac. It's got a luxury handmade feel to it. It's a bespoke product. Let's try Game Boy. I'm wondering if there's like a classic Tetris on here. What what do you want? Paper Boy. Can can I just do a classic Tetris real quick? Because the tunes are unbelievable. Look how we they, they have it so it looks like a tube TV. That is too cool. Yes, sir. We're gonna get at least one Tetris before we start the next game. There. How are they doing this to us right now? Okay, we'll just go here and then we're gonna get this Tetris. You see what it is? Without that, you don't have Fortnite. Epic Games. That was me on the Game Boy. Young Lou. I don't know, I might not even be here without Tetris on the Game Boy. Bringing order to chaos. Will wants me to play a color game, Bluetooth. So you could hook up a, you could hook up a controller to this if you wanted, I guess. A Bluetooth controller. Two player? Yeah, two player. They got Mortal Kombat, NBA Jam. Ooh, NBA Jam. Street Fighter 2, Castlevania, Super Mario. Or should I go to Genesis and see what they have there? Yeah, they got Sonic and Streets of Rage. Are you hearing these tunes right now though? Jack, listen to that. Right here, the breakdown. Go get some of these dudes. You're dead. Oh, I called in the, I did not need to use that right now. Accidental. I called in the airstrike unnecessarily. This dude refuses to die over here. <laughs> it's 
it's crazy that this was like the cutting edge. Like if I had to pick this up at the right time in my life, like this was a, a life changing experience. Oh, upgrade to a pipe. That guy's got a karate kid stance though. Okay. What can I say? It's a, it's a boutique item. If you brought this thing to a party, that's kind of a hit. With these old school games, you don't really have to know too much to get into them. It's not like the prerequisite is, is incredible gamer skill. Anyone can pick this up and start throwing some punches. You order a pizza, you have a couple snacks, you play some old school games, you chat a little bit. The thing is, it's $2,700. So you're kind of almost afraid to bring it out of the house. It's a boutique item. You know what I mean? It's a limited edition. Willie Do, let's get you in here. Let's hear your opinion on this. You're the reason that this product is here to begin with. Yeah, I'm a really big fan of uh, artisanal. Artisanal, woodwork. that's a word I did not use yet. I used boutique, bespoke. Yeah. A lot of prime materials that uh, pretty expensive. This is not coming from a giant factory where they're gonna make a million of these. There's 50, and a guy made them all by hand. And you could tell the passion that goes into it. Mm, so mm. I respect a lot of that. Give us a rundown, Young Willie Do. Young Willie Do, Mississauga, Ontario. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would rock uh, the Game Boy. Game Boy? Yeah. Okay, which title? Tetris, for sure. You just copied me, man. Pokemon. I play Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, was that when it was the different colors? Like you had to get the yellow cartridge or? No, even back in the day it was red and blue. Red and blue, okay. Those are the straight up legit first Pokemon games. And, All right. Uh, but those games were super hard. You know yeah. those side scrolling games? Yes. Oh. No, it's true. And, and oh. we've talked about this on the retro gaming hardware in the past. We talked about how these old games, it's not like you have save points. No. If you beat the game, it was meaningful because most of your friends didn't beat it. Obviously today, gaming exists in a whole different universe in which you never beat it. Like nothing no. is beatable. No. You just play the There's thing. There's no end game. No, you just play forever. Yeah. You get you just keep grinding. Addicted grinding. to the mechanics. Yeah. It's such a different mindset than the type of games that we were exposed to. Exactly. as youngsters exactly now i'm not trying to say that this is a solution to uh, all of today's gaming problems yeah, it's not for everybody but it's a nice like it's a museum piece like if you had this thing on a coffee table in a way it's almost as nice to look at as it is to use yeah the fact that you can interact with it you know and, and play some old school games nothing wrong with that it's interactive art yeah and you can smell it i guess so yes can you uh, well, just. Well. I suppose that's nice smelling as well. How dare you? You know it is. 